Yo, what's the story? The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is the best webcam, the most affordable streaming camera with insane quality. All you need is a USB-C cable and something like OBS, except it's not as straightforward as it might be to set up an OBS. There's one little thing, but we're gonna show you how to fix that. And then, what if you wanted to use this to stream live to Instagram, social media platform? Let's jump in. First things first, make sure your Osmo Pocket 3 is turned off. Plug in your USB-C cable, turn it on. And then if we watch here, we're going to see a mode that says webcam. Now it is going to bounce into webcam mode if you don't tap it. And that's essentially it. Now, if we kind of swipe up, we have a couple of options like 1080p, 25, 30 frames per second, or you can uh, swipe across and you can get 1080p 50 or 60 frames per second. So you do you. Now, when you hear the battery life on this, if you think other cameras are bad when it comes to battery, you ain't heard nothing yet about this, but I'm gonna to get to that in a sec. Some of the other settings before we dive into OBS here and get the setup, if we swipe to the right, we have stuff like exposure. So you can still adjust your exposure, your exposure value. You can have your ISO set that, whatever, or you can dial the whole lot in and manual if you're using the D filters or whatever you want, all right? So that's point number one. And then we can change our white balance. We have our continuous focus mode, our single focus mode, and our product showcase focus mode, which for live streams or webcam works incredibly well as I did on a live stream in my channel yesterday. Really, really good. For now, I'm gonna leave it on just the normal focus mode. And then we have our sharpness and noise reduction. I always say bring the sharpness down to negative two because it's way too digital looking and negative two is kind of quite filmic. Now, noise reduction. I'm a big believer in turning the noise reduction off, but in non-optimal lighting conditions, kind of like I'm almost in, and as you can see here from the stream yesterday, having noise reduction on got rid of a whole load of noise and it didn't really screw up the image. So. Play around with that and whatever works best for you. So that's more or less all the settings you have. You have your audio settings as well. If you want your channel, your noise reduction, your directional audio, whatever, which mic you want to use. So all that, you probably know that by now, right? And that's more or less it. Now, once we get into OBS, you can uh, position your Osmo Pocket 3 whatever way you want. And here's the other thing as well. Face tracking still actually works. So it's really, really cool. Now, in OBS, what we need to do is the following. Once you're plugged in via USB-C, in this case here, I'm just using Windows uh, 10 PC, but you're on Mac, the idea is the exact same. If you select the plus here in the sources and we go to video capture device, let's just call this P3 for Pocket 3. Let's select OK. And then we can see we have the Osmo Pocket 3. That's it, that's the setup, however, there's one, See, there I am. Hello. Hi. What's going on? See, um, yeah. One really cool thing here as well, it's just nice to have this extra control. If you go to configure video, you have some properties. And if we bring these in here, we can change the pan just by dragging it around. We can change the tilt. We can even change the roll or just go to the fault and it's going to bring it back there. So I'm just going to triple press and it's gonna bring it back up to me again. And that's the thing, you have full control over all of this, including how it's going to track your face, but more on that in a sec. Now, here's where it gets difficult-ish. You don't have any audio with this. We have video, but we gotta scroll down here in OBS. Audio output mode, capture audio only. We don't want any of this. It's here, right underneath this, and it's easy to miss. Use custom audio device. Capture input terminal, Osmo Pocket 3. That's what we want. And now we can see P3, which is our Osmo Pocket 3. We have got Theo on there. And we know by the view meters moving up and down. Let's drag out our canvas here. And that's it. It just works. Now, that's it set up here. We're getting to how you can do this for Instagram in a sec as well, by the way. But if we bounce back to the Osmo Pocket 3, if I double tap my face, there we go. Everywhere I move, it just works it's super 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 cool pick it up it doesn't matter what you're doing there we are hello oh it's just insanely well that's it i can't even get the word works in there so that's how you set up i'm looking at myself yeah so that's how you set up the osmo pocket 3 for video and audio 
And then I'm actually just gonna press the joystick to turn off the face tracking because depending on the type of stream you're doing, it might be a little bit <laughs> for your audience. But that aside, that setup, it is so easy. Just before I get to Instagram Live, let me take you through, if you're going to use the Osmo Pocket 3 for work, you're going to be the best person in the office or wherever you're doing a live video call. It's insanely good quality. What if you want to use it for Zoom or Teams or something like Google Meet? It's The idea here is the exact same. So I'm on a brand new meeting on Google Meet. So all I got to do is select the settings here. Let's go settings, audio, video, exact same idea. Let's select our Osmo Pocket 3. There we are in the background. Boom, just like that. Audio, just make sure you're on Osmo Pocket 3. So input terminal, capture input terminal. They're both the same thing, so let's just go with that one. Speakers, you might want to set the speakers to your headphones or whatever your audio out device is. So we can just go with headphones in my case here. Let's press X and boom, there we are. So let's double tap again on the face track and face track in Google Meets. It's as easy as that. Now, Instagram Live. This one blew me away. Now you're gonna use this in a combination with OBS as well. And oh man, let's go for all of those of you who are on Instagram or TikTok that do live streams. This could be it. What about Instagram though? No, here's the downside of this right now. And I don't think it's ever gonna change though. You cannot use Instagram live streaming with the Osmo Pocket 3 on your phone. However, if you've got a computer nearby, you can go onto your desktop, go create. Let's go live video, add video details, fake or whatever, whatever your audience is, public, practice. I'm just going to go public for the fun of it. Ha, <laughs> like to live dangerously. Let's go next. And here is the stream key and the stream URL for this. Okay, and then we copy your stream URL. In the settings of OBS, you go to stream, it's Facebook Live, and then you put your stream key in there. Hit start streaming, and then if you bounce back, to Instagram Live, for example, you get the preview and then you can just go live. And it's as easy as that. I know it mightn't be perfect because you can not stream directly from the Osmo Pocket 3 on Instagram or any social media, but the idea here is the same. Take the stream URL, the stream key, put it into OBS in those settings. That's it, that's all you need. Press start streaming, boom. Now, battery life, okay? Battery life on the Osmo Pocket 3 when it comes to live streaming. And I guess we probably should mention overheating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did a live stream on the YouTube channel last night with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm not sure whether you were there or not. If you weren't, then subscribe so you know when I go live the next time. This thing, I streamed for an hour and, about an hour and 40 minutes, an hour and 35 minutes. This had 23% or 24% when I started streaming. Hadn't charged it. Plugged it in, you get the little symbol on to say that it's got power and the battery does trickle down. In an hour and 40 minutes, this went from about 24, 23% down to 20%. Now, what about overheating, my friends? Did this overheat? No. Not once. It felt a little bit warm to the touch. And when you were using 1080p 60 for streaming, it did get a little bit warmer. And I think the battery ticked down slightly quicker, but that was it. This thing is an absolute beast for streaming. There is one glitch, however. There's one final glitch that I want to tell you guys about. And I want to put this cable away because it's annoying. The f I did find if I was jumping from a scene with another camera, like a web camera in OBS, the audio did run out of sync. And at times, if you change the setting, occasionally, let's say you went from 1080, 125 to 1080, 60, uh, by just by swiping, there was a glitch where the audio did go completely out of sync. We're talking seven, 20 seconds, really the audio was completely gone. The way to fix that is to right click on your Osmo Pocket 3 within OBS, select deactivate and then activate it again. And the thing is absolutely rock solid again. Now I'm not sure whether that's a bug with the Osmo Pocket 3. Is it the way that OBS handles things? I was really poking things around last night. So I guess it's the exception as opposed to what most folks will be doing. But again, it's right click on properties, deactivate, 
and then you can go activate and it's good. That's all you need to do. Osmo Pocket 3, for those of you who want to do live streams as well, it's pretty damn impressive. But remember, this animal is a video camera first, not a webcam or a streaming camera. But I was blown away by this last night. The quality, everything, even the audio, the onboard mic. Oh, insanely good. Speaking of good, if you want to get the most out of your Osmo Pocket 3, this video here will hook you up. See you on the next one. Is that weird?